Alright guys, today we're going to do the very simple thing of adding loading screens between your levels. Uh, this is uh, also a very nice thing to use when you're going to progress the story in between the levels or just give the player something to look at while they're waiting. So um, it's, a, it's a pretty nice thing to add and uh, could get kind of boring just looking at the same black screen with just red loading at the bottom. So uh, I'm going to show you how you can add these loading screens and I have a little example here that I created uh, which basically just uh, you go through the door and it loads and it loads the same map well it's a different map but it looks the same and it has a little text and it has an image and it looks like that and since it the, the map is so small it loads instantly um, the text will move up because it's done loading and then you can click uh, and it will load it instantly or you can wait it out. Uh, the length of the loading, like if if the timer of, uh, if your computer loads the level faster than uh, the text uh, <coughs> would take to like expire because um, it, you don't exactly put a timer on it, it just determines from the length of the text how long it's gonna stay there. So. Uh, yeah, so you don't exactly need to uh, put a timer on it or anything. It'll uh, automatically uh, make a timer for you, and uh, yeah, so that's that makes it a lot simpler. Uh, it's very simple to do this. Uh, all you have to do is add a simple script on leave, uh, or you can do a little more complex um, if statements if you are ha if you have like several. Um, several uh, exits or several things that can happen as you leave them uh, but yeah so I'm just gonna exit out of this game now and uh, we can uh, we can go over to the tutorial part and see how it's done alright so I am right now in my custom story directory the one that you should have all your custom story files in and it should be located under amnesia slash custom stories and uh, inside here you should be able to have all the files that come with your custom story uh, including the custom story settings, the background if you have one, uh, the extra English which you most likely have or should have. Um, if you don't, if you're missing any of these files including the maps folder you can download an example uh, custom story uh, s like base that I set up uh, from my description. Uh, you can use that as a template and also uh, if you're using a Windows computer uh, because this is obviously done on a Mac uh, you can still use this tutorial if you're using Windows it's done the exact same way so you shouldn't need to worry about that uh, same thing for Linux as well uh, so yeah um, I have just I just took this image from <laughs> from Anisha itself so uh, here's the image I'm gonna use as the loading screen you can use any image as well uh, just experiment with it uh, make sure the size is uh, appropriate because if it's too big it'll go out of the screen so uh, it should should not be too big it should be approximately this size like my monitor is pretty big so but you, you'll figure out that um, you can experiment and make a uh, a good size for your uh, loading screens but anyways uh, what we're going to be needing to do in this video is to uh, create of course the maps uh, you don't really need to do anything with the maps in particular with this tutorial because um, uh, you can do that you can do this kind of thing this load screen in any map really uh, it doesn't matter what map you're doing it in as long as you just do it between two maps uh, in the loading um, so I just have the inside maps I have just loading one and loading two uh, just as an example but you can use any map really and uh, the script file is the important part and the map files you've already seen how the map files look and there's really no reason to open them in the level editor because there's no uh, real editing in the editor uh, that we need to do so you've already seen the maps how they look in the example and they are very basic just a room with a door and uh, the one door is connected to the other door and that's all there is to it uh, if you don't know how to use the level doors I have a video on that on level transitions uh, that you can take a look at but anyways um, so uh, what you're going to be needing is the script file for the level you're leaving uh, because uh, you're, you're not gonna like you're not gonna execute this script on the map you're entering you're, on, you're gonna execute it as you're leaving so you're gonna need the script file of the first map or the map that you are leaving from 
so uh, and these files don't worry about those they're just different uh, they're not relevant to this tutorial uh, so we're just gonna need the script file uh, if you don't have one you can create one from text uh, just make sure it's clean text and not and make the extension HPS and not HPS txt if you're on Windows you need to uh, rename it to HPS and make sure it's like all files or whatever but um, yeah so uh, if you have an HPS script file to the level then you can just open it and uh, uh, this is how it looks uh, this is the script and I'm actually going to remove this whole script right here and uh, type it out again uh, but first, I'm going to open up Google Chrome and go to the Engine Scripts page. I'll have this page linked in the description, and it this page contains all the scripts you can use in Amnesia. Uh, the script we're going to be using for um, changing the uh, display of the loading screen is called Setup uh, Load Screen. So if you search that up, Control F, it says Void Setup Load Screen, and then these parameters right here and under here it describes exactly what should be in each parameter so what you need to do here is to copy everything except the void part so just leave that out copy everything including the parameters and the semicolon copy that and go back to your script file uh, before we paste it in we're gonna have to actually put the block you're gonna uh, use to execute it in so you're gonna make a block and if you don't already have this block you might have this block already uh, it's one of the three basic blocks. Uh, there is void on start, void on enter, and void on leave. And we're going to be using the last one, void on leave. And put parentheses and also put brackets. Like that. And uh, this one is listed at the very top of the engine scripts page if you need to look at it. Um, but uh, if you have downloaded a script file from anywhere else, you usually they come with these, uh, just like a template start off with these things. Uh, but anyways, the void on leave, uh, this script, it means that everything that is within this script locked will be executed as you are leaving the map, which means as you are clicking the door that will take you away from it. Um, it's not, uh, well, it, it's about there. So, um, but anyways, as you're leaving the map, uh, that is a very suitable time to add this little script that will change the loading screen. You can of course add it on start and that will affect the next loading screen so it doesn't need to be on leave but if you put it on leave then it'll be executed just before it's used so I find that a bit more organized uh, maybe that's just me but you can put it on start or really anywhere you want. Uh, if you have some a sort of event in your um, level that uh, makes uh, makes the loading screen differ as in if you do an event uh, like uh, if you touch a door in your level uh, and that door uh, was significant to the story you could do so that uh, uh, after touching that it will change which loading screen is going to appear you can do that with if statements and such like that uh, but to make it really simple all you need to just do is paste it in there so paste that, that script right there and now we're gonna fill in these parameters but before we need to do that uh, these two first parameters include the um, extra english.lang file so we're going to go and uh, take a look at that so let's go back into the custom story folder again if you don't have the extra english you can download it from the description uh, the one I have included also includes a lot of the uh, common uh, categories that you likely want to use in your custom story. Uh, you can remove them if you'd like, but I just decided to keep them in there. Um, uh, but anyways, what you're gonna need, uh, this file might look a bit messy to you, and after a while it will look a bit messy, but therefore I put up these banners to help me keep track, and hopefully you, can, you should do some similar thing to keep track of where everything is. But basically what you need to do here is, if you don't know how to use the extra English lang, uh, basically what it does is that it ha opens an, a language block in uh, in diamond brackets. Uh, it also has a closing one at the very bottom. And uh, then it opens each category and has an entry inside each, each category and then closes the category. So uh, basically what we need to do here is to create another category for the loading screen text. Uh, that we can use. So uh, the easiest way to do this is just select a previous co uh, 
previous uh, category and just copy it and just paste it in right below and that was bold okay just paste it in right below and now we have two of these and then you would just want to edit the name part to whatever you want so I'm gonna call it loading and then you can change the entry name to load screen one so let's call that load screen one and inside the uh, between the uh, diamond blocks you want to put whatever text is actually going to appear in the game so let's just type this is a loading screen that's a simple text and that text will appear as you are loading the map uh, but make sure that you also close the category and uh, make sure that the name and the entry like the category name and the entry name both match what we're going to add in the script over here so uh, the first parameter in the script is called string as text cat and if you look at the engine scripts page it'll list just below it what exactly these things are and this means the text category in your extra English lang. so you want to put quotes because it is a string it needs quotes and inside there you want to type the name of the category loading in my case and as long as that matches this uh, it should recognize this category as long as there are no errors in this file uh, if it doesn't recognize it then there might be an error like if you're missing a symbol or a slash category somewhere and uh, that could be the cause and make sure to look over this thing and be careful with typos typos are evil and uh, the second parameter is similar string as text entry and you might already know what this is and this is the name of the entry within the category in the extra English dot lang, dot lang that you want to use this is basically the text so the categories are there to organize things uh, and the entries are what is actually displayed so uh, what you want to put in here is the name of the entry that you want to display on, on the screen load screen one and that is the name of the entry in the extra English dot lang right here so make sure that they match exactly uh, if you do not wish to have any text at all what you can do is to uh, uh, keep both of these blank that should work uh, or you could just like add a, a very empty block just with a space or something in here and that should also work if you don't want any text at all in just an image and now this one this one is a little strange because uh, uh, you don't really need to mess much with this uh, if you look at the end script page it's a little cryptic exactly what this does but if you put this value this is an in integer value so it's basically a number and if you put this to one or zero or basically anything lower than one so I'm just gonna put it to zero if you put it to anything lower than one it'll not do anything but if you put it to anything higher that means it's going to add some kind of extension uh, as it says here if greater than one it will randomize between one and al random uh, for each load screen giving entry the suffix xx eg01 and that by itself sounds kind of confusing and I haven't looked too much into it exactly what it does uh, so I'm just gonna leave it at that and say that mm, we probably don't need to do this uh, I think I have a, a general idea what this means, but um, uh, I don't think it's a very vital thing to do. Uh, so uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it at that. So keep it zero, and that will m just ignore that part of the function or the script. And the last one is the string image file. Again, quotes because it is a string, and I want to put the name of the image file. Now we haven't actually put this image file in our custom story yet, but we can still name it. And the one I named is load screen image one dot png, and that is the name of the script file. No, the um, image file. And uh, before we go any further, I'm going to place that script file within my custom story. I have it right here on my desktop load screen image one dot png we want to place this somewhere within our custom stories so it doesn't really matter where it is at all just uh, place it anywhere you could place it placed it like directly in there but that could look pretty clustered if you have a lot of files directly in there so I recommend making a folder for it 
I'm going to call this folder loading. Loading, if I could type it correctly. There we go. And I'm going to put this file inside the loading folder. So now we have maps right there. And we have loading right here. And inside loading, we have load screen image one.png. And that image will be found by the engine because it doesn't really matter where it is located at all. Uh, but you just want to make sure that the name is unique or else it might find the wrong file because the engine looks in every folder of the game. But if you're making a custom story, you likely want to keep it in your custom story so you won't have to actually move it anywhere. That's probably the easiest. But anyways, so make sure that the, uh, the path or you don't exactly need the path, you just need the name of the file. But if you're going to specify, you can put the name of the folder slash the path, like uh, actually making the path slash the name, folder slash name. Uh, but you don't really need that, you just need the name. And when you're done with that, you want to save this file. Save. And we might as well close it. That is literally all there is to the script. And back to the uh, extra English, make sure, make sure to save this one as well. And it doesn't really matter where you pl place this category, uh, but if I were actually going to keep this one, I would probably like copy this banner and paste it above it just to keep it organized to n signify that this is the loading section. But anyways, uh, that's not part of the actual script because every line that starts with a double slash is a comment and is not read by the engine. Anyways, uh, I'm going to save this file now and close it. And uh, that will basically do it. So now if we are to actually just run the game uh, directly from where we left it off, uh, <coughs> don't mind the conversion mod, I'm just starting up this tutorial custom story. Uh, this is the room that you saw and uh, it's the same file and this is the one, it has the script in on leave and as soon as you click leave on the door it's going to execute the script that will add the loading screen and it looks like that. This is a loading screen. It went pretty fast because this text is pretty short, so uh, it cuts off pretty quickly, uh, especially if the map then that is being loaded is very small. Um, but anyways, that was everything for this quick little tutorial, and uh, probably should have been even quicker than it was. But um, I'm just gonna <laughs> say that I'm I'm still gonna make a few videos, so uh, I've just been. Uh, doing stuff lately so um, but anyways uh, I hope you found this video helpful and if you liked it I would appreciate if you would like the video it motivates me to make more of these tutorials and uh, stuff like that so uh, yeah I will thank you for watching and I will see you later